Hey, welcome back to the channel. We are going to cut up some 10 by 10 white oak. We need 10 by 10, 12 foot long post. And gentlemen and ladies, it is hot as the surface of the sun out here today, but we need to get this done. So here we are. Plus I kind of like the soil mill. I have fun doing this. And so I'll put up with a lot for something I like to do. So this, this log is about uh, 13 inches, one doorway, it's uh, 13, it's pretty, pretty well rounded. So 13 inches on this end, I think that's the big end. And let's see, this one's exactly 12 inches uh, one way and exactly 12 inches, the, 12 inches the other way. So it's got a slight taper to this end. We need to basically raise this end up a, about a half inch and that should get our, our pith pretty center. And I guess that's enough talking. Let's just start sawing. But I better put some backstops up first or it'll roll off the back. I would embarrass myself and tell you how I know it will roll off the back if you don't put backstops on. But we don't want to talk about that. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it right here. For you guys that are new to the channel, uh, this is a Frontier OS23 sawmill. It'll cut a 23 inch diameter log and it's the ratings are kind of weird on sawmills. So literally you can cut a 20 inch board with a crosshair. So if you have a live edge and you, you work with it, you can literally cut a 20 inch, uh, a, a 20 inch slab. So this particular saw here, I ordered it with the seven and a half horsepower because I didn't know how much I was gonna get into the sawmill. Uh, I, we've, we've since decided to build a homestead and we're trying to do as much self-sufficient as we can. And this same sawmill will come with a seven and a half horsepower or 10 horsepower. So I should have went with the 10 horsepower. So I swapped out the original 10 horsepower for, for a 14, which is probably overkill. Actually, I know it's overkill, but I, I do like the 10 horsepower. Uh, I think the 10 horsepower would be what I would buy today. Or maybe even a bigger sawmill because we are running into the case now that our, we're getting bigger logs than I thought we were gonna get. Uh, we kind of surveyed our area, surveyed our woods, our, our property and properties around the, you know, the county and thought, um, how big of how big of a sawmill would we need? So, and we didn't really know how much we we're going to get into it. Go big! I'm just saying, go big. Go as big as you can afford. I think if I had to do it today, I would have probably bought the OS27 or maybe the OS31. Probably the OS31. If I had to do it today, that's exactly what I'd do. I'd buy the OS31. Not that this is not a great saw, and in some places this would be a perfect saw, especially if you're like doing spruce and it's really, uh, you get the really long skinny logs, but we're finding that once you have a sawmill, people will give you logs. Like he'll call you up and, hey, uh, we're cutting the, a couple of trees in a pasture. You want these logs? You just gotta come get them. I mean, we've had all kind of logs show up at our, our property or, uh, or we went and got actually, um, that we didn't pay anything for. They just like, hey, come get these. So something to think about. Look at you, Miss Aware. So we got Miss Tanya behind the uh, camera over here. She's sweltering it out with a deer fly and the uh, hot as the surface sun. So give her a big shout out in the comments saying thank you for running the camera. We couldn't, I couldn't do these cool videos myself. She's able to do a lot of the camera work and make it amazing. I just ain't got that. I ain't got that skill set. My videos generally are point and shoot. That is some grade A uh, poison ivy right there. That's fresh. I'm gonna see if I can turn it over and knock that off with this. I, I tried to grab it with the gloves earlier, but that stuff was, was on there. Still missed it. Yeah. Let me 
to get the gloves out. So I left my leather gloves at home and the only gloves I have with me are these rubber insulated gloves for the winter. They really work great in this, this 100 degree weather. Uh, so our heat index today was 110. Actual temperature was close to 100. I'm sure everybody is having it. Nothing new for us, we, we have that kind of weather. How many of you guys are allergic to poison ivy? I rarely, I've had like a minor rash once. Um, some of you guys are make comments saying how bad poison ivy is. Uh, so far, I've never really broke out with that much, but I ain't gonna take a bath in it. I haven't even put the log on the sawmill and I'm already sweating like a pig. I always found that saying funny because my understanding is pigs don't sweat. Probably the meaning behind it. All right, so we've got the log up here. We'll lower the backstop so we can take an initial cut. This log looks probably be one of the most simple logs that we've ever tried to cut. Well, I shouldn't even said that out loud. That was just a big old, I jinxed myself. Oh yeah, that's all we can do. It should be just, unless we just try to make some extra boards. It's really not much to do here. We're gonna cut a 10, a 10 by 10 out of a 12 by 13 log. And a square one, right? Yeah, a square, square can't. So there, there's not very much left over. Actually, there's gonna be nothing left over, probably. I don't know that we can get a 10 by 10 out of this. It might, this might only yield an eight by eight. Huh? Measure what? Uh, this was several. Need to back this off. Uh, you wanna grab this side? Just pick up one and just hold it up. You don't have to pull hard. Um, I this particular piece of the log was a few hundred feet in the air, or at least 50 feet in the air. So, no, I did not measure this part. Need a bigger lever. Need a bigger lever. Got to have a little hernia surgery next week. So it's nothing major, just a little tiny one. But Doc says I need to get it fixed before it gets really bad. Time you guys see this video, I'll already be recovered. Yeah. With a good Lord willing anyway. Yep. If you're wondering why I'm wearing long sleeves because of the bugs are biting me and eating me up a lot. Deer fly, love her. And mosquitoes in I must be undesirable. You know what? It makes a good sweat rug. Yeah, I'm undesirable <laughs> because the bugs don't like me. I think I have too much too much diesel in my veins. Yeah, this is gonna be this is the smaller one of these. We might we may end up having to go eight baits. Didn't it what we originally said? I said ten I mean I said eight baits originally, didn't I? No, I said six because we were going to use the same size as the treat it. That's six by sixes, so let's treat it. And I said, no, I want it to be bigger, so let's go eight by eight. And somehow I got to 10 by 10. I don't know. We're going to cut these logs up and they'll yield what they yield. That's all they can do. We may have to cut another tree down. So, how have you guys been dealing with the heat? I had a thought and you moved. Great. Oh, I had a cool saying, something I was going to say, and you moved on me. Oh, it was flowing so good when you were over there.
think we're not going to yield an 8 by 8 Had a lot bigger smile in it than I thought. See right there, it's pretty straight. And then it curves up right there pretty hard. I might have raised that a little bit more. We'll get what we get. flying here trying to eat me.
guys, that is one six by six. That's all we can get out of that. Uh, it was quite a bit more tapered or loop de loo than I expected. Didn't look like that when it was up in the tree. It's hard to really judge it when it's in the tree, but we can make what a six by six work. Uh, the project we got coming up and uh, you gotta stay tuned for that project. Listen, we have been up since uh, 4.30. Got out here, worked till 12, went home, uh, cooled off, came back out here this evening, and it's still just scorching hot. So I'm gonna see you guys, for you, it'll be a click of the fingers. I can't click, never could do it. Do it this hand, never could do it this hand. What's wrong with me? Anyway, for you, it'll be a click of the fingers. Uh, and we'll see you back in the morning and take on this next one.